Hello friends, this video on light part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Bujo stands at A just on the side of a plane mirror as shown in the figure. So this is a plane mirror. So this is where Bujo is standing. Can he see himself in the mirror? So will he be able to see himself in the mirror? Now any person can see himself in the mirror only when the reflected ray reaches his eyes. Right? So in this case, if you see a ray of light incident from here might go like this because this is the normal to the surface. So this is incident ray and this is reflected ray. A ray of light falling on the mirror like this might go like this. Right? So in any case, do you actually see that the reflected ray might reach Bujo? Because reflected ray will always go in this direction and Bujo is standing here. So the reflected ray will never reach Bujo's eyes. Therefore, Bujo can't see himself in the mirror. So you can say Bujo can't see himself in the mirror. Why? Because reflected rays don't reach his eyes. The reflected rays won't reach his eyes. So that is the answer to the first part. Can he see image of the object situated at P, Q and R? Okay, so if you talk about point P, Q and R, so a ray of light which will be incident from P So let us suppose this is a ray of light which is incident from P and then it gets reflected like this. So basically this is from P and this is going to A. So basically the reflected ray from P is actually able to reach Bujo's eyes. Therefore Bujo can see P. So he can see image of P. And the same thing holds true for Q also because see from Q also if a ray of light is incident like this then it will get reflected like this so it will be able to reach Bujo's eyes so therefore Bujo can see image of Q. What about R? So R is located here so a ray of light which will be incident from R on the mirror would be somewhat like this. So when the in light will be incident like this. Now angle of incidence will be equal to reflection. So it will get reflected somewhat like this. So this will again not reach Bujo's eyes. And therefore Bujo can't see image of R. So the simple concept is if the reflected ray from an, for any object that an incident ray will fall on the mirror from that object and if the reflected ray is able to reach our eyes we will be able to see the image of that object and if the reflected rays, rays don't reach our eyes we will not see that object. So let us look at this question. Find out the position of the image of an object situated at A in the plane mirror. So this is the object A and this is the plane mirror. We have to find out its image. Now in case of a plane mirror, where is the image formed? It is formed exactly at exactly same size as that of the object behind the mirror and same distance as the object is from the mirror. So that means the image should form somewhere here. But let us look at it with the help of ray diagram. So that means let's say, so this should be the image of this object. Now using the ray diagrams, we can draw it like this. Let us suppose a ray of light coming on, falling on this uh, mirror. So let's say this is the normal. So this would be the reflected ray. So this is incident ray and this is reflected ray. Similarly, there might be a ray of light falling like this and then it is getting reflected like this if this is the normal. So what do we see if this, if you try to extend these rays of light, they tend to meet at this point and that is why we say that this is the image. So for the first part, we can say that A dash is the position of image of A. Such that the distance of A from the mirror 
is equal to the distance of A dash from the mirror. Next part. Can Paheli at B see this image? Yes, of course. Why? Because if you look at it, the reflected ray from A is able to reach Paheli's eyes. So, she can see the image. Can Bucho see the image? Yes, again, because the reflected ray is able to reach Bucho's eyes. So, Bucho can also see the image. When Paheli moves from B to C, where does the image of A move? Now, let's say Paheli is moving from position B to position C. But Paheli, at both positions B and C, Paheli will be able to see the image which is at A dash. So, Paheli's movement from B to C is not going to make any difference to the position of this image because the image position is dependent on the position of the object which is still at A. So, the position of the image that is position of A dash remains unchanged. So I hope that you are able to get it that how exactly the ray diagrams need to be drawn and how exactly you get to know which object you can see and which object you can't. So uh, what I would tell is uh, go through these concepts clearly, try to uh, solve more problems like this and see if you can do it yourself or not. So with this uh, we have reached towards the end of this lesson. So see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.